In a world where nuclear war has begun, vampires fought back in super real 3D. If your project will not open inside of Premiere, it is absolutely terrifying. You're in that situation, you want me to cut to the chase, so let's get to it. I've been doing this for 18 plus years. I've figured out some different reasons. The most consistent reason that your project won't open has to do with plugins. If you're using plugins, oftentimes this can cause some issue with Adobe Premiere, in particular, whenever Adobe Premiere updates to the newest version. Now, I have made it a habit over the years at this point to hold off on updating to the latest version of Premiere as long as I can. As Sometimes they release some feature that's so juicy, I'm just kind of like dying to get it, and so I'll give it a go. But I don't uninstall the previous version of Premiere because I run into this issue frequently. Now, the plugins that I use, the main ones that I use, are the Red Giant Suite, and I also use a lot of Isotopes plugins, which is an audio suite. Um, uh, well, audio, <laughs> Isotope makes some of the most insane audio plugins for helping clean up audio and making it sound better and all that. And then Red Giant Suite is a lot of, I use their Magic Bullet Suite, I use their VFX Suite recently, and Universe. And recently, definitely, I haven't been able to use Universe in the newest version of Premiere. I did have to revert to the previous version. So you're like, okay, well, this sucks because I really wanna use these tools. Well, you, you do have to go back to the previous version. Now, if you're in the same situation that I was, many times, you've already invested yourself in a project that's in the newest version. You can't retroactively open that project back up in a previous version of Premiere. So you're kind of screwed in getting to use that plugin at that point. Um, you have to uninstall that plugin. And then you're gonna have to open up that project and then it's gonna say missing and you're just gonna have to accept that, that that is missing unless they do an update, either Red Giant, or in my case, Red Giant, but whatever plugin suite does an update, or Adobe does an update before you happen to need to finish your project, which is oftentimes not gonna happen. If this is the scenario, usually the way it will present itself, when you go to launch Premiere, that launch window before you get to the area where you can actually choose the project that you wanna open up, it simply doesn't get there. It just hangs up uh, and you'll see all the little things that it's loading up of the Premiere project little window that has the whatever graphic of the uh, iteration it is it'll literally just get stopped right at that point. So that kind of makes it obvious. It was getting stuck right at Universe. But this is not the first time that I've experienced something like this happening. That just happens to be the current plugin with the current situation of the current. At this point, we're 2022 and we're at the latest you know, version of Premiere in the 20s. You know, They just launched up to the 20 area and stuff, but I'm mainly using version 15. Now, let's say that your project, this is what happened to me yesterday. This is a different situation. I totally made a project inside of even the previous version of Premiere, and everything was fine. I got all the way to the point where I was exporting the video. It got hung up there. I was like, okay, this happens sometimes too. Best thing to do is just that you've had the program open too long, you've done too many moves, and you just need to kind of clear the cache out of it, go ahead and close out the program, reopen it, and then a lot of times it can be fine. So that's exactly what I went on to do, and then when I went to open it, it wouldn't open. Now, Premiere opened, but the project itself, when I got to that point, choosing the specific project, it literally wouldn't finish loading. It would get to a certain point in the load bar, about two thirds of the way in, and it would just stay. And sometimes you're wondering, is it just taking a while to load? Because the more plugins that you add to a project, the longer it can take for the project to start loading. It starts loading slower and slower and slower. Well, one way that you can check to see if it's still doing anything is if you do your, I'm on PC, but control alt delete, and then you open your task manager and you can look at the performance of specifically Premiere. If it's at 0% or 0.1%, it's not, it's not doing anything. It's not loading anything anymore. So at that point, you might as well end the program task and start trying to figure out something else. Now, the solution, well, first of all, it did end up being that I was using Isotopes audio plugins on my final pass of audio, but I used it in combination for the first time ever I tried it, because I'm always trying new things, I used it in combination with Adobe's Premiere's mastering uh, effect, right? So you can, 
Adobe has all of its own effects inside that you can choose. I like to use its little mastering effects, literally just called mastering. You drag and drop it on, boost it up by 25%. And it just brings the volume of everything up a little bit um, and you've mastered your audio. So I was using that in combination with two, um, two iteration or two <laughs> instances of Isotope's Neutron 3. Um, and I was using just their compressor and an equalizer. And then I put the mastering on at the end. And anyway, I figured out that that's what it was. Now, how did I figure that out if uh, I couldn't open the project? Well, the workaround to try and get a project, if, if you can get the program open, then you can do this attempt. Open up a new project and then import into your project panel window. You can double click or right click, whatever you wanna do import in the project that you're trying to open. And when it, it'll eventually load up a little window, and this did work, where it shows you, do you wanna open the whole project? Or you just wanna open certain uh, aspects of it. You wanna choose the certain aspects. You just wanna open up a specific sequence, the sequence that you laid out everything in. And if you get it that far, then you can choose the sequence that you're trying to really get at, your final master sequence or wherever you were in your edit. And it did open that. So it's like a weird workaround, something about the launch of Premiere and the plugins, it, it gets screwy, but I was able to open it that way. Right, and by the way, when you do that, it's gonna import in all, it'll create all these folders in your project panel. So it'll have your footage, it'll have your graphics, anything that you used inside of that timeline, it will open up, it will create folders inside of your project panel. You basically just recreated your project inside a new iteration. And in this case, it wasn't a difference of the newest version of Premiere or the previous version of Premiere. In both cases, this situation was happening to me. So I don't, I'll be very leery about ever if I'm doing audio inside of Premiere, mixing plugins with Adobe's own plugin stuff that, you know, on the same pass of audio. I'll make another video at some point about Adobe and Premiere and audio because audio, doing all your audio inside of Premiere is what I really like to do. And I shouldn't, I should absolutely be using a doll because most of the issues I run into have to do with audio inside of Adobe Premiere. And it, it's, once you start stacking that in, the the whole project just starts lagging. So I do a lot of render replacing and exporting of files and re-importing so that way those plugins are no longer being used in the project. That is a, a technique you can do. Anyway, you're probably having a plugin issue whether the physical program won't open or whether you just can't open this specific project. If you can get that far where Premiere does open and you're trying to open a specific project, a workaround is, again, create a new project, double click in your project panel, and import in the specific sequence that you are trying to get at. And then when you do that, it seems to work. I've done this in the past too. This is not a fluke, this seems to work. Um, and when you do that, it'll open up all the folders associated and all the specific files that are associated with that timeline. And I know I sound redundant, but just in case this is your first time navigating in Premiere and this is a new issue you're running into, because you don't need to have an advanced edit to run into this problem. This is a serious one. Um, that is the way that you can kind of work around and handle it. Those are the most consistent reasons why a project or Premiere will not open in, in my case that I've experienced over 18 plus years of only using Premiere. I'm stuck in Premiere because I love Premiere. Uh, I think all software probably has its own issues. I'm gonna stick with Premiere, but man, this sucks. And Premiere would say, well, it's the bug in Suite's fault. It's like, well, maybe so. Um, it is not, just hold off on updating to the, to the newest version of Premiere as long as you can whenever it comes out. And I, I recommend that for any application. If you're ever in the middle of a project, don't update yet. Even if it has a nice feature, I mean, you can download the new program, but do not uninstall your previous version because there's a chance there's gonna be hiccups. And just know that once you start working on the version of your project in the new version of whatever software you're in, it's stuck. I mean, you cannot go back. You've dedicated yourself to new moves and new layouts and stuff, and you can't go backwards and reopen that project. So it is just a lot safer to absolutely wait to try a new project. I'm sorry, try uh, the newest version on a project that may not matter as much, or it's a personal project, or it's right from scratch. So you can run it through all the paces from start to finish of importing your footage, doing your edit, putting on whatever effects and plugins and moves that you need to, and then exporting it successfully. And at that point, then I would feel confident to use it. You can also check with your graphic card. That can sometimes be something that's holding it back, you know, update to the latest version of your graphic card. But again, 
even with that, I have had to revert back to previous versions on graphic cards. And I, for a lot of you, this might all sound familiar. And for a lot of you, you already had an aha moment and already clicked off of this video because like, right, I just updated this or updated that. Always think about what you recently changed. Uh, but sometimes it will just hit you out of left field and you wouldn't think that the smallest thing, I mean, we're talking about, I had one layer of audio, just a mono track, and I had on an equalizer, a compressor, and then one little mastering pass. So, I mean, this was pretty minimal, nothing exaggerated, and it did not talk nice to Premiere, and so I had to do this workaround method where I recreated the project inside of Premiere, so that fixed it that way. But last month, I had to uninstall Universe. And every, and I was stuck in a, the latest version of Premiere on one project, and I was accurately using the previous version of Premiere in, the, in another project. And so anytime I needed to toggle back and forth between the projects, I would have to uninstall and reinstall, uninstall and reinstall Red Giant Universe as of the state of affairs right now. And it's totally, totally sucked. So I'm just sticking to the, the, the previous version of Premiere, which is like the, the 15.3 whatever the hell. <laughs> That's the one I'm using for right now. And you see the date below this video when this is. So it is always changing but these are evergreen concepts of how to fix your project, open it back up, get access to it again. And I hope it helps you because this is the, one of the scariest things that you can possibly run up against. And one of the most defeating because you put in all the effort. It's not like you can't get the project to work. I mean, it is all done. And you potentially are, you're way, way deep in and you can't get access to it. And it's unimaginable to start over. That'd be insane. All right, guys, I hope that this helped you. Um, take care. <laughs> Bye. Good luck. Movie voice.